we have our render component which updates the renderables where based off the position of the actual entity and let me actually draw the entity we're building thus far here is one piece of our Venn diagram or our uh, Burt's bottle caps kind of game but this is our ship we just say ship we've built our renderer Did I call it renderer component that's right render component go black why not renderer component simple component and believe me things will get a little bit more interesting as future videos come along we have one one component for our ship we need another one to make things interesting I want the ship to move and so we shall make a physics component and the physics component will simply update the position of the ship based off the ship's velocity. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click, add class, add physics component, hit enter, Visual Studio drops it down here, bring it up here, control KO, format all of our header guards, alt drag underscore, we need the pound include entity slash component inherit publicly from component component we're also going to need the namespace entities I'm just trying to be consistent with my namespaces for the whole entity system we are building let's check out the compilation unit uh, I think we can get rid of all this so let's do that and namespace namespace entities okay now again the physics component I want it to update the position based off of velocity so I'll just make that public I don't see any reason to make it private uh, math slash uh, vector 3d.h then in here math colon colon vector 3d.h or 3d <laughs> velocity okay and we also need the update. Remember, update is a virtual function uh, defined in component. And it's actually going to be pretty simple for a physics component. Let's go do the definition or implementation physics component. Colon, colon, update, home. And go down here. Now all we have to say is get parent. Uh, position gets uh, no, no no not gets plus equals velocity times dt but we don't have a way to get the clocks delta time so I think for now we'll just go off the frame rate and recalculate and readjust and make a nice global clock that we can use anywhere in our game let's get parent complaining about here pointer to incomplete class type is not allowed the get parent function returns I hit f12 to navigate to it the get parent returns an entity pointer, but again, we just said it's class entity. The compiler knows nothing about it. So in this compilation unit, I need to pound include entities slash entity. And now the compiler can see, oh yeah, okay, there's a position. You're adding the velocity, that sort of thing. Let's build, build started, build succeeded. Let's add this physics component to our uh, ship and see if it does anything my game h let's put the entities entities physics component we don't have a include for that so control l to copy and cut control v v to paste it twice and physics component right there physics component physics uh, let's call it ship physics ship physics. So we have ship render, ship physics. Again, I'm placing all these right next to each other syntactically or textually uh, for cache coherency. I could, I guess I could throw them in an object pool or something like that. Let's go back to my game.cpp and ship render, set data, ship data, add component. I want to say physics component. Physics or ship physics, sorry. Ship physics dot velocity let's just say every frame let's do dot x every frame we want it to move 0 0.1 uh, and remember we have a, a 0 to 1 0 to negative 1 
nice kind of normalized scale there. So that's what we're going to do. Ship add component address of ship physics. And I think that's about it. Now we need to say ship dot initialize. And hopefully we see the uh, ship triangle move across the screen. But this initialize, I'm not sure if we define that. Actually, we need to check if not ship initialize. If initialization fails, then we're done. We will fail as well. Click on here, hit F12 to navigate it. Entities, num components is zero. Return true. Our logic actually isn't correct because we've added some components. Now I'm saying ship initialize, and I would expect the entity to initialize all of its its subcomponents. So this is actually not correct logic. Oh, oh. And I could do a constructor, but that's so not what I've been doing. <sighs> Sometimes the constructor initializes values to zero, and sometimes initialize does it, and that's not consistent. That smells bad, but this whole structure smells a lot better than it did before, so I think I'll just roll with it for now. And if it bites me, it bites me. I'll try to fix it. That's a bad attitude because that could hurt developers on my team. Oh, wait, I don't have any developers on my team. It's all myself. Four, you int I at zero i less than num components i plus plus if not components sub i initialize don't we have an initialize i thought component had an initialize it doesn't have an initialize hmm interesting didn't we do i thought we did do an initialize nope i guess i must be dreaming so components should have an initialize as well. So let's do that. Virtual bool initialize initialize and shut down as well. Shut down and copy both of these. Go to the compilation unit for a component right here. Pretty boring, actually. Well, you know what? We could... <sighs> you know what? We'll just define them here. That might bite us a little bit later because this is an inline function. But we said virtual. And so, uh, I don't know. We might get linker errors later. I'm going to just do it like that for now. Uh, but we should return true. Return true. The default implementation will be, hey, everything's good. All right. And then close this file, close this file, and then components, initialize, return false. You'll see later, I'll override the initialize in the individual components, and we'll do some stuff there. But I think for now, that's probably good. Let's build, see what the compiler says. Linker error, entities, physics component update. Yeah, bites me every time. Declaration, specification, please export this from the DLL. Allow the linker to see it in the lib file. Build succeeded. Okay, not sure what we're going to get. Control F5. And there you go. You see it? There's our ship moving to the right. Okay, that's our, our physics component. Is updating the position. Let me actually draw that out here. Here's our ship. Our ship. Uh, entity. We have two components. We have the renderer, render, renderer component. I'll suffix it with component, and I'll say physics component. And the ship is actually responsible for tracking. I'm gonna erase this, make it a little bit bigger. The ship's responsible for tracking its position. Remember, we discussed that in a previous video. So here's position positional data and then these two bottle caps the render component looks at the position to decide where to render the triangle the physics component updates the position based off the velocity the velocity right now is based off of time frame instead of off of delta time we gotta fix all that but there you go we're making progress I'm feeling, feeling kinda good about that in fact I think I'll just 
run this and watch that go. It, it's a very, the, the component and entity design pattern, very simple pattern, but it's kind of cool when you get it working. If I don't want the ship to move, you know, I don't have to add the physics component. If I didn't want it to have the physics defined in here, I can easily go back to my game and say, hey, yeah, don't add the physics. And now the physics behavior is gone. I've just taken out one of those bottle caps. So very cool.